second video on this. Take note again. I want you to take note where the hangers I said in the previous videos, the video that they're uh, they're right. To be able to find the hangers real fast, they're at the bottom of where the two truss members meet of the decorative semi-structural outer bridge uh, uh, decking. Um, hmm. Anyway, they're meeting out here at the bottom of each one. And so we'll be able to align real fast. Let me get out of this video and get you where I'm going. So what I'm going to show you is the, the rotation took place again. Um, just This is important because it gives us our side. It gives us our side to look for a failure on this side. You know, that's a start. And then we're going to be able to eliminate a couple of things. But kind of kind of oddly, wait till you see what I sh uh, bring up at the back, back end here part of the video. It's uh, a little bit interesting. Um, but the uh, again, this gives us our rotation. So we, now we have one side to start looking for the failure. That's better than looking at no side or nothing. And we go from there. Because it swung down. And then it released from here. It couldn't hold any, all the entire way to the bridge, and it broke free and dropped down. The tree debris shows how far it went over before it, before it grabbed some of this branching and how it broke it off. You'll see the branch in another part of a, a video I just uh, trolled up uh, about five minutes ago. So as, as you can see, the hangers are further or longer, and you get to the middle of the bridge, uh, I would guess the middle of the bridge, the hangers are now short, shorter, still connecting at the same location, but they're shorter hangers and then longer hangers. This is going to be of interest. So we come to here and we discover the bridge was built in 1931, 155 meter span. It is a metal bridge suspended over Tarn, I guess that's how you pronounce it, and supported by two pillars, pillars and shrouds. Pillars and shrouds, okay. A bridge prohibited for trucks over 19 tons. The Department of Blankety Blank, which maintains the bridge, says that the work did not require any particular supervision. In the last two years, the bridge has been inspected twice. Was that was the truck that took the bridge too heavy? Took the work was prohibited for vehicles over 19 tons. But now impossible to know the precise tonnage of the truck. The company owning the vehicle was was raided Monday, November 18th. So it appears that uh, they've overloaded the damn bridge, the structure. And that sort of ends, this, ends the story, if that's the case. But let's hear, I mean, let's turn this on. It's in French, so um, if anybody speaks French, you can look up this title and find it. Already got an animation. That is awesome. So showing car, they're, 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 I don't know what, what this is saying. Okay, we got a truck. And a bypass. Well, they stopped there. All right. But that truck didn't look like it was over. You know, the animation. Oh, good. They've got a drone image, a drone video. So this is awesome. Yeah, this is just uh, just typical to keep it in square from um, um, from rotating the the bottom axle forces. A little bottom member there. This is the load bearing member of the cro of the floor beams and the cross beams and the decking. Um, this is a good video. Um, I mean, presented to us, not me. This. There, it looks like they're going back to animation. Yeah. All right. So, uh, yeah. That, well, we know that's already out. So that another video it looks good. Oh, it looks like they did some work on it. it looks like new concrete. Um, so maybe they did some inspections. All right. So, video when it was up. And they're cutting it, they're editing. And it's just like at the time of the collapse. Let me see if I can just fast forward and get other any other uh oh. Yeah, I'm gonna there's that rock, there's the impact.
and a redirect of it overwards. Hey, George, my cat. 19 ton limit. We don't know. Yay, good boy. All right, this appears to be the company that might have been raided, maybe. That's why they're jumping over here. Um, 19 tons, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I can see that being excessive 19 tons, which is 38,000 pounds. That's concrete. I don't know what size piping it is. I'm trying to get an idea of the width of the truck. Oh, plus it's got a damn uh, a, uh, loader on the back. And it was in a small, the, the wheelbases were close together. All right, so this is what I was talking about earlier. Here are hangers all there. It's the side, I believe it failed on this side here. So if that vehicle, I did not know about the vehicle until I just saw it talk to you guys now about, I thought it was, you know, pickup truck type thing. I now, now we have a real truck. Um, so that vehicle is on this side of the road. I thought it was a one-lane road anyway. If those two, when those two cross each other, the, the the truck and the cars, that's probably the most loaded time that this truck is going to get the bridge. So maybe 19 tons, but combined, the two of them combined, go trying to pass each other, could easily uh, equal 19 tons. You see, I don't know what size vehicles it are. Maybe they're maybe they're a ton and a half. So all we need to make up now is a few more pounds on the uh, tonnage on the uh, truck but we got three vehicles so the three of them combined crossing each other not just the truck alone gets you your excess tonnage because it appears they were not in tow behind each other I thought this is a one lane bridge so I'm, I'm getting a little bit you know confused here and even if they weren't behind even if they were behind each other I would still combine the weights depending on you know that they were close on top of each other Okay, that's what you want to see with all the connections. Now I would want to see what it looks so. Oh, this is the, uh, this is the, uh, um, this might be, I don't know if this is a hangar or not. This might be part of the uh, bridge um, pier system. I don't know if it's a hangar or not. Can't tell. Can't tell, because I'm not allowed to tell. No, I can't tell. Um, hold on. Okay, so to the right here, we have the other section of the bridge is pulled down. It's Now it's more identifiable. Um, this truck, I don't know if that's the uh, literal, that's not, can't be the literal truck, but the literal company or not, because I don't, uh, they were, anyway. Um, the, uh, Uh, the, the loading, that's what I want to know. The loading, sorry, I was thinking of my small brain. The loading, um, I want to know what the loading load rating is for this structure. Um, looking for the trees and all, getting data. Before, they, it was 19 tons. Was this downloaded to 19 tons? Also, why, two, why, two, why inspection every uh, single, the past two years? What were they concerned about? Were they going to lower the rating? And did they talk about multiple cars at once? Did they change this to one lane only? Because clearly they should have considered that two cars would pass each other, or two trucks could pass each other. Two 10-ton trucks could pass each other if there's two lane, and that would make it 20 tons at that point. So I think they might just have be uh, have an issue with, uh, with uh, overloading and also maintenance overloading without the proper thinking of saying one lane at a time um, and with the tonnage wait, waiting on the tonnage uh, restriction so I'm trying to find yeah I have the breaking on that one side the truck and cars creating this the this, this same moment that caused truck being loading that section besides being weaker because the truck's uh, weaker after the truck's load load is present starts breaking there and then we just get the uh, unzipper of the cables all the way down 
for the deck becoming a dead load of the rest of the cables left and right. And she's going off left and right, two directionals, two directions, breaking the mid-span weight of it. Um, I saw a car there, but they did have some river, fast-moving river stream moving it. Was that a river? Let me get back on this darn bridge. I want to confirm, uh, trying to confirm a connection. So I'm trying to confirm connections, the underside of the structure, how they met, and how they met the undersides, how they locked that all in. Let me let me terminate this video and let you guys have it. Well, it already appears this is the French uh, version of Wikipedia. I had to do a translation, so keep that in mind. We're looking at a translation from Google. The bridge collapsed at 8 a.m. when a 38-ton truck carrying a drill or concrete pipes from a company located. So they don't know which one it is, a drill or and it, uh, well, maybe they think the back of it. They could see it, and that's actually the lift for the pipes. Uh, located a few kilometers from the accident. Passes over. The truck and a car are predicted in the Tarn, I believe that's the river. A first assessment reports two dead and three wounded. I want to know, again, the uh, what was the load capacity of this bridge beforehand. In 1995, the lift, the lift calculation of the anchor blocks concluded that they were unstable. The tonnage limit was increased from, was increased from 19 tons to 12 tons. Increased? I guess that's decreased, right? And the repair works con uh, concerned the two anchor blocks, the concrete deck part. The con what concrete deck part? The old ties in the of the lines to the apron, fragile to cold, are replaced by new welded parts. The fasteners of the lines of the cables, the support device, the overall balance. So this welding part was what I really wanted to see if they did any repairs. Um... I want to know what they did repairs-wise on this structure. I cannot determine that. So, you know, the repairs are an issue here, too. The translation saying it's increased from 19 tons to 12 tons. And they will call the anchors. So, clearly, the anchors didn't fail. So, that's not of a uh, concern. I want to know what the limits, max limits were back then when it was built. And what is it at now? What, what was it put at now? Um, and then I'll give you one more, one more piece of data. I'll tell you what I'm trying to find. Right here, it looks like it's hollow structural steel. And it's just like it just brittlely cracked right across, not at a joint, just right there. Now, it took an impact there, but it just ripped it apart. It, it, was, it was so rigid, this part of the structure, that it just transferred the load right to the upper part of here, which is, which is weird because it had to transfer through this little bit of steel which would then have to break this, I guess, uh, fabricated T-beam. How about if I call it that? Um, which is, it just went right through it, including the uh, top flange. This metal seems pretty uh, questionable, this, this, this metal, literally the metal. And no breakdown here. So, and this is just a small piece. I'm trying to find the, video, uh, the image I found. Now I lost it somewhere. Goes from, it's only a small distance. This is at the end of the abutment right here. We're at the uh, at the transition over to right about here. It's transition over to the uh, approach. But this this is the side. As I said, fail anyway. Failed anyway. But and here's the rocket it hit. But this is bent upwards right about here. So it took a bend. So this end hit first. This uh, left side hit first. Bent right here. In doing so, though. You think it will? It, it, I want to see the close up of this. How it crawled in, or did it go away? If it bent down, it means it, it took a little bit of a. This failure was kind of weird down on this end. I'm just interested in all the metal and everything. So that's what I'm working on. If I could find that darn image I had. So then we have a much better image of their uh, part of their expansion joint system down here. That's what I was worried about, you know, how if they failed also. I believe this is the failed side, and look what we have here. This is totally different than what we're look, looking to the right. Um, it just ripped it out. 
And over here, it failed at the other connection, the other part of the connection, the bridge connection. That stayed and failed at this. I wouldn't say it failed at the pin connection. Yeah, it failed. At, I would like to see it. It pulled when it, the weight of it bent it out, whereas it popped, as it, uh, it probably caused it to buckle the uh, pin, which is amazing that it didn't shear through. And as it elongated, pulling through, it opened this up. Or this popped, and when it popped, this ricochet uh, kinetic energy whacked this thing up. Well, it whacked it two directions. Because this is not, see how this is in plane? Parallel? Down here, we don't have parallel. And that looks to be straight. So, and it's not much, what I'm saying, buckling on. It's not much there to present that. So that, that's part of that. That's, that's, a, that's got me. That's a steel, a significant amount of steel to rotate two directions. So bend out first, and then as it fell, then maybe, oh, maybe the pin, maybe it pulled one side, causing that moment directional change. But this is going to tell us, what it's telling you is that it failed in the center of the bridge. Because it, it it fell it released downwards. Okay, let's just do this. If it failed here, you would have it shearing off. You don't have that here. So we, we puts us at the back of the trucks. It puts it at one side failing. This is the way I look at it. They're not symmetrical. And they're and they're in their uh in their defects now. Um in the defeated position. Uh and then I've got a, you know, there's that rotation going on. That's very interesting rotation, inwards and outwards. And yet I can see what one, what the existing one would look like, the, the cousin to that one, the sister. The married couple is right here. It's not much of that pin action to go on to create what I said. And I don't see, it doesn't look like it's torn away, sheared out. Clearly it came out, though, and it came out left and right. You know, it... it it had a, the structure did something, I'm mean, see me wagging my body, it's doing something like that, and that was able to cause it to bend it outwards and then bend it back, but the moment you would think, the bend would you think would be back here, but it's here, significantly down, not quite mid-axis, is it mid-axis from here to here, maybe that's mid-axis, but you do have this steel bar between there that's, that's got to be addressed. And it's, it said goodbye, too. Um, very interesting. Let's, uh, I want to find that section for you. And maybe it's in a vid this video. I'm going to go forward slowly. Good. It will be in this video also, so if they're going to look over this edge. Here's the expansion joint I talked about in the other video. Here's the tree branch right here. And tree branches, that means it came that far over as it was uh, rotating over. Vehicles going down, uh, grab hold of this branch. You can indicate when it had its path up here somewhere. Let's look at this break here. I, I, there was a better image of this, but I'm going to move the mouse out of the way and talk about this area here. Look at that bend. Look, it's a clean break all the way through the top flange. I find that... Uh, I find that you know very interesting because the the, the, the uh, part of the deck that would cause it is right here. So it's one side that hit first, as we as this would indicate, and all that load created such a shock load that it was able to snap that steel. I find that a uh, wow a wow a wow factor that it's able to. Let's see if I can zoom in from here. I had a better image, but let's do that. See that bend. So the corner down here hit. Obviously, it had to be pulled away as the mid structure was collapsing. It created that this this effect here, right? So here's the one abutment. Here's the other abutment. Here's a straight bridge, but if the bridge falls in the middle, it pulls on each end, and it fell on one side first, pulling on this end first, tearing it away. And it switched over to this side, the, the cables hanging, holding the bridge. But at one point, this came down. This end hit first. This left side here hit first. So I wonder if the bridge had like a, a wave going on when it when it failed, when it popped. Because this hit first. I know it's a rock here, but that's over, the rock is here. And 
so if the rock at first, this last part would then be what, just a cantilever that couldn't take the uh, sudden stop and it just whacked itself apart. I mean, right here, sheared it. I mean, I got I guess I could, I don't know what the word to use. It brittly fractured itself apart. You know, there's no real, it's an invisible force there that just cleaned it right up. Huh, invisible force. Right, there's a cable right here aligned with the uh, bottom of that. Remember I talked about the cables? I wanted to see it out there, and now here it is in front of me. This cable is lining up with a structural um, weld. I don't know what that is. I, I saw a better shot. It wasn't a weld. It's hollow. I thought this was uh, some type of plate steel. It's not. It's a hollow steel. And 1935, is it? I wanted to look for welds. I could not identify any. And, huh, let's move it. So back that up just a little bit. Because we want to identify the underside right there. I can't, right here is the connection. So that was what we looked at earlier. That was how they were connected. And look at the failure. It's the same out here as it is on each one. Pulling through, punching through each one, leaving this boot that you see. Except for this one is not left a boot. This one here, this is left the, the, well, the boot and the, uh, I'm sorry, and this uh, sleeve, if you will, shim spacer. This one doesn't appear to have a spacer. I'm going to move my mouse out of the way and you can look down there so I can get rid of this. Uh, should get rid of the uh, writing. Uh, yeah, got to move the mouse somewhere. Okay, up here. It doesn't appear to have a boot on that one. The others appear to be snapped above the boot. So we look at the failure. We can start seeing the, the different different ways they sh they uh, they necked. They became elongated, right? And they necked like a piece of taffy that you pull apart. And then the, this the necking I'm trying to describe to you to see the end of the, the center of the taffy. Uh, pulls apart. One is your anchor where you're holding on each end and the taffy would separate. This is right here. It would be clearly that it's this would show the necking or it might be that brittle fracture, that instant brittle fracture. But this is going to be how we're going to find, I think, the initiating point. This is curled up. I don't know what that is. Might be a part of a lamp, maybe something else. I, maybe I don't know yet because I can't you know, maybe it's right in front of my eyes. That's the way I do videos sometimes. I come back at it again. I go, ah, oh, I see it now. That's the way I work in my brain. So there, there's this connection. I mean, it's just beautiful up there. These did not fail here. Yet, if you think about it, the bridge was loaded with the same amount of weight up here as was down here. But what failed? The steel again failed. Not this steel, the cabling. But the steel at the deck, because we're looking at a full, a full piece of a, uh, of um, a hanger, and besides, not counting this one, and I don't know what else on there, these hangers all appear to be in place right here at the cabling. So this has it at the deck. Steel couldn't take the loads and punch through and cause this flipping. So the deck steel would be nice to be able to see over there. To see how it um, how it was how is faring over the years, what do they do for uh, reinforcement there? It's all just punched right on through that. I'm gonna terminate the video because I've got to go. And right here is a 19 ton, so I don't know what they meant by that French version of saying 20 ton, but it looks like one Brit one one vehicle. Maybe they go drive up on the sidewalk and they force each other past each other anyway, if they're impatient. Um, this is the image that I, one of the images I want to get for you. It's again, to show you how that there's that sp spacer I called it, and look at the you know, what I would you know how it connects to the outside of the steel somehow. I can't find how it actually connects, but it looks so insignificant. You know, it doesn't look like it's, uh, I mean, it's like I can almost see the top to the bottom, like it's side connected, side mounted, and not through, like through a, through, through and, and plated on the bottom. This is, uh, 
very weird setup. And there's that lower, remember I said smaller when it gets down to there? There's a smaller and these hangers get longer. And so you can see where these hangers don't appear to be totally like, they don't appear, let me put, you know, let me speak the way I speak. They don't appear to be badass. The hangers do, but not the, uh, their uh, connection. There's one more image to the right of this, to the other side that I, I can get a little tighter in, but I can't do any better. Um, let's, let me pause and click that link down there and see where it takes us. Okay, fair game. Um, the image, uh, right here is where the hangers, I believe, right about here. It's, this is tapered back. This appears to be tapered back, and I, I don't know if that's tapered back or not. But there's no, I can't even see where the hangers were on any of this right here. And they ran hangers up to the, not, not to the very end. There was one, they came in one uh, truss bay, if you will. And um, and then they started hanging. So the, the last section connects to those uh, connections you saw on the piers of the built or structure. Let's see what we get. Right here again. So right here. Okay, I can I can terminate this. Looks like it's boxed and and right here again. So it looks like it just ripped through that insignificant piece of metal. It looks like the hangers. Let's see if I do triangulate this right. So that's the bottom. Yeah, that's a hanger, and that was a hanger. It, it just punched right through it. It punched right through those uh, those members. So this this would eliminate some nefarious stuff anyway. Um, Let's see what we got here. You know, I am about copyrights, guys. I can't just grab somebody's entire video. I gotta, I've got to um, respect the uh, copyright laws. So we'll bounce out of that. So yeah, these hangers look like they're just got a weird configuration for hangers. I mean, it just. I don't know what that is. Are these plates ripped off? Is it like side mounted with some a side plate, an end plate bolted on perhaps? I don't know, but it ripped right through it and it was sheared right through it. And I'd like to end the video with giving you guys a Google search. If you look at bridge hanger connections, uh, is what I just um, Googled for you guys, you'll see there's multiple versions of it. They're designed to pivot, move. This isn't like an eye bar type set up with a pin. Um, there are other designs. You see them, you can you can play along with, oh, like a chain link, I would call that. So it has a top cord and and also the hanger all engulfed into three pins. So that's that's kind of nice. Um, you, you can look at all these hangers and see how they interact. But each one's going to be a little different. Well, look at that like that. So... There's a dual double hangers. And the same thing, that would be the three, four, well, one, two, three, four, five. This would be five connections that are interacting into one coupler. So you imagine if the one coupler fails, everything fails. Um, here, looking at here, one, two, three, four, five, six, including the uh, coupler. And then now we go to the, the subsections of that. Seven, a pin, eight, pin, some type of connection to hold those two together. Nine, another connection over there. Ten, um, it's a clamp system, so I guess you'd have to talk about each one of these bolts all having to fail. One, two, three, four, six, five, ten. So you see how you can look at it. On that one, it was kind of simple. It just a, looks like a straight hanger, bolted, side plated, and it looks like it was overloaded possibly by multiple vehicles overloading the structure and not necessarily just one. So the one doesn't come into 19 tons. It just overloaded the connection. It overloaded the connection, gets you a rotation. Your, your bridge is, uh, it loads to the next, the next hanger down. It can't take the load. Now you got the dead load of the structure holding. Um, it's trying to hold up also the span, but it's a very short span from hanger to hanger. But nevertheless, it still counts. The truck moves on. The two vehicles are passing each other, maybe three. And, or three of them in a row, but they're, or they're overloading the structure. There's ripping, 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 ripping. And I think that's, I think I might be able to end this video with that until we get more data.
Now, it could be a wild card such as uh, um, Nefarious Means or um, the guy ran into the side, ran into just, you know, that they left out that he accidentally turned his car to the right and happened to hit one of the hangers perfectly, you know, the truck. You know, that that's not that's not eliminated yet, right? Um, and also bad maintenance. And I'm going to terminate the video from there. Take care.